Indigenous languages of the Americas are spoken by indigenous peoples from Alaska and Greenland to the southern tip of South America, encompassing the land masses that constitute the Americas. These indigenous languages consist of dozens of distinct language families, as well as many language isolates and unclassified languages. Many proposals to group these into higher-level families have been made, such as Joseph Greenberg's Amund hypothesis. This scheme is rejected by nearly all specialists, due to the fact that some of the languages differ too significantly to draw any connections between them. According to UNESCO, most of the indigenous American languages are critically endangered, and many are already extinct. The most widely spoken indigenous language is Southern Quechua, with about 6 to 7 million speakers, primarily in South America. Background Thousands of languages were spoken by various peoples in North and South America prior to their first contact with Europeans. These encounters occurred between the beginning of the 11th century with the Nordic settlement of Greenland and failed efforts in Newfoundland and Labrador and the end of the 15th century the voyages of Christopher Columbus. Several indigenous cultures of the Americas had also developed their own writing systems, the best known being the Maya script. The indigenous languages of the Americas had widely varying demographics, from the Quechuan languages, Aymara, Guarani, and Nahuatl, which had millions of active speakers, to many languages with only several hundred speakers. After pre-Columbian times, several indigenous Creole languages developed in the Americas, based on European, indigenous and African languages. The European colonizers and their successor states had widely varying attitudes towards Native American languages. In Brazil, friars learned and promoted the Tupi language. In many Latin American colonies, Spanish missionaries often learned local languages and culture in order to preach to the natives in their own tongue and relate the Christian message to their indigenous religions. In the British American colonies, John Eliot of the Massachusetts Bay Colony translated the Bible into the Massachusetts language, also called Wampanoag, or Natick He published the first Bible printed in North America, the Eliot Indian Bible. The Europeans also suppressed use of indigenous American languages, establishing their own languages for official communications, destroying texts in other languages, and insisting that indigenous people learn European languages in schools. As a result, indigenous American languages suffered from cultural suppression and loss of speakers. By the 18th and 19th centuries, Spanish, English, Portuguese, French, and Dutch, brought to the Americas by European settlers and administrators, had become the official or national languages of modern nation-states of the Americas. Many indigenous languages have become critically endangered, but others are vigorous and part of daily life for millions of people. Several indigenous languages have been given official status in the countries where they occur, such as Guarani in Paraguay. In other cases official status is limited to certain regions where the languages are most spoken. Although sometimes enshrined in constitutions as official, the languages may be used infrequently in de facto official use. Examples are Quechua in Peru and Aymara in Bolivia, where in practice, Spanish is dominant in all formal contexts. In North America and the Arctic region, Greenland in 2009 adopted Kalalasu as its sole official language. In the United States, the Navajo language is the most spoken Native American language, with more than 200,000 speakers in the southwestern United States. The U.S. Marine Corps recruited Navajo men, who were established as code talkers during World War II, to transmit secret U.S. military messages. Neither the Germans nor Japanese ever deciphered the Navajo Code, which was a code using the Navajo language. Today, governments, universities, and indigenous peoples are continuing to work for the preservation and revitalization of indigenous American languages. Origins In American Indian Languages, The Historical Linguistics of Native America 1997, Lyle Campbell lists several hypotheses for the historical origins of Amerindian languages. A single, one-language migration not widely accepted A few linguistically distinct migrations favored by Edward Sapper Multiple migrations Multilingual migrations single migration with multiple languages The influx of already diversified but related languages from the Old World Extinction of Old World linguistic relatives while the New World One survived 
Migration along the Pacific coast instead of by the Bering Strait. Roger Blench 2008 has advocated the theory of multiple migrations along the Pacific coast of peoples from northeastern Asia, who already spoke diverse languages. These proliferated in the New World. <laughs> <laughs> Language families and unclassified languages Notes Extinct languages or families are indicated by the number of family members is indicated in parentheses for example, Iran 9 means the Iran family consists of nine languages. For convenience, the following list of language families is divided into three sections based on political boundaries of countries. These sections correspond roughly with the geographic regions North, Central, and South America but are not equivalent. This division cannot fully delineate indigenous culture areas. Topic. North America There are approximately 296 spoken, or formerly spoken indigenous languages north of Mexico, 269 of which are grouped into 29 families the remaining 27 languages are either isolates or unclassified. The Na Dene, Algic, and Uto Aztecan families are the largest in terms of number of languages. Uto Aztecan has the most speakers 1.95 million if the languages in Mexico are considered mostly due to 1.5 million speakers of Nahuatl. Na Dene comes in second with approximately 200,000 speakers nearly 180,000 of these are speakers of Navajo, and Algic in third with about 180,000 speakers mainly Cree and Ojibwe. Na Dene and Algic have the widest geographic distributions. Algic currently spans from northeastern Canada across much of the continent down to northeastern Mexico due to later migrations of the Kickapoo with two outliers in California Yurok and Wo. Na Dene spans from Alaska and western Canada through Washington, Oregon, and California to the U.S. southwest and northern Mexico with one outlier in the Plains. Several families consist of only two or three languages. Demonstrating genetic relationships has proved difficult due to the great linguistic diversity present in North America. Two large super family proposals, Panushan and Hokan, look particularly promising. However, even after decades of research, a large number of families remain. North America is notable for its linguistic diversity, especially in California. This area has 18 language families comprising 74 languages compared to four families in Europe, Indo-European, Uralic, Turkic, and Afroasiatic and one isolate, Basque. Another area of considerable diversity appears to have been the southeastern United States, however, many of these languages became extinct from European contact and as a result they are, for the most part, absent from the historical record. This diversity has influenced the development of linguistic theories and practice in the U.S. Due to the diversity of languages in North America, it is difficult to make generalizations for the region. Most North American languages have a relatively small number of vowels i.e. four or five vowels. Languages of the western half of North America often have relatively large consonant inventories. The languages of the Pacific Northwest are notable for their complex phonotactics for example, some languages have words that lack vowels entirely. The languages of the plateau area have relatively rare pharyngeals and epiglottals they are otherwise restricted to Afroasiatic languages and the languages of the Caucasus. Ejective consonants are also common in Western North America, although they are rare elsewhere except, again, for the Caucasus region, parts of Africa, and the Mayan family. Head marking is found in many languages of North America as well as in Central and South America, but outside of the Americas it is rare. Many languages throughout North America are polysynthetic eskimo aleut languages are extreme examples, although this is not characteristic of all North American languages contrary to what was believed by 19th-century linguists. Several families have unique traits, such as the inverse number marking of the Tanoan languages, the lexical affixes of the Waukeshaan, Salishan and Chimacuan languages, and the unusual verb structure of Na Dene. The classification below is a composite of Goddard 1996, Campbell 1997, and Mithen 1999. Topic: <inaudible> Central America and Mexico. In Central America, the Mayan languages are among those used today. Mayan languages are spoken by at least 6 million indigenous Maya, primarily in Guatemala, Mexico, Belize, and Honduras. 
In 1996, Guatemala formally recognized 21 Mayan languages by name, and Mexico recognizes eight more. The Mayan language family is one of the best documented and most studied in the Americas. Modern Mayan languages descend from Proto Mayan, a language thought to have been spoken at least 4,000 years ago. It has been partially reconstructed using the comparative method. Topic. South America and the Caribbean Although both North and Central America are very diverse areas, South America has a linguistic diversity rivaled by only a few other places in the world with approximately 350 languages still spoken and an estimated 1,500 languages at first European contact. The situation of language documentation and classification into genetic families is not as advanced as in North America which is relatively well studied in many areas. Kaufman gives the following appraisal. Since the mid-1950s, the amount of published material on SA South America has been gradually growing, but even so, the number of researchers is far smaller than the growing number of linguistic communities whose speech should be documented. Given the current employment opportunities, it is not likely that the number of specialists in SA Indian languages will increase fast enough to document most of the surviving SA languages before they go out of use, as most of them unavoidably will. More work languishes in personal files than is published, but this is a standard problem. It is fair to say that SA and New Guinea are linguistically the poorest documented parts of the world. However, in the early 1960s fairly systematic efforts were launched in Papua New Guinea, and that area, much smaller than SA, to be sure, is in general much better documented than any part of indigenous SA of comparable size. As a result, many relationships between languages and language families have not been determined and some of those relationships that have been proposed are on somewhat shaky ground. The list of language families, isolates, and unclassified languages below is a rather conservative one based on Campbell 1997. Many of the proposed and often speculative groupings of families can be seen in Campbell 1997, Gordon 2005, Kaufman 1990, 1994, Key 1979, Laukotka 1968, and in the language stock proposal section below. Topic language stock proposals Hypothetical language family proposals of American languages are often cited as uncontroversial in popular writing. However, many of these proposals have not been fully demonstrated, or even demonstrated at all. Some proposals are viewed by specialists in a favorable light, believing that genetic relationships are very likely to be established in the future for example, the Panutian stock. Other proposals are more controversial with many linguists believing that some genetic relationships of a proposal may be demonstrated but much of it undemonstrated for example, Hokan Suen, which, incidentally, Edward Sapper called his waste paper basket stock. Still other proposals are almost unanimously rejected by specialists for example, Amund. Below is a partial list of some such proposals. Good discussions of past proposals can be found in Campbell 1997 and Campbell and Mithen 1979. Amerindian linguist Lyle Campbell also assigned different percentage values of probability and confidence for various proposals of macro families and language relationships, depending on his views of the proposal strengths. For example, the Germanic language family would receive probability and confidence percentage values of plus 100% and 100%, respectively. However, if Turkish and Quechua were compared, the probability value might be minus 95%, while the confidence value might be 95%. 0% probability or confidence would mean complete uncertainty. Topic linguistic areas Topic Unattested languages Several languages are only known by mention in historical documents or from only a few names or words. It cannot be determined that these languages actually existed or that the few recorded words are actually of known or unknown languages. Some may simply be from a historian's errors. Others are of known people with no linguistic record sometimes due to lost records. A short list is below. Laukotka reports the names of hundreds of South American languages which do not have any linguistic documentation. Topic pigeons and mixed languages Various miscellaneous languages such as pigeons, mixed languages, trade languages, and sign languages are given below in alphabetical order. Topic. See also Amund languages Archive of the Indigenous Languages of Latin America 
Classification of Indigenous Peoples of the Americas Classification Schemes for Indigenous Languages of the Americas Haplogroup QM242 YDNA. Indigenous Peoples of the Americas Language Families and Languages Languages of Peru List of Endangered Languages in Canada List of Endangered Languages in Mexico List of Endangered Languages in the United States List of endangered languages with mobile apps List of indigenous languages in Argentina Mesoamerican languages Native American Languages Act of 1990 Notes Bibliography North America South America Topic External Links Catalogo de Linguas Indigenas Sul Americanas Diccionario Etnolinguistico y Guía Bibliográfica de los Pueblos Indigenas Sudamericanos Towards a General Typology of South American Indigenous Languages a bibliographical database South American Languages Society to Advance Indigenous Vernaculars of the United States SAIVUS Indigenous Peoples Languages, Articles, News, Videos Documentation Center of the Linguistic Minorities of Panama The Archive of the Indigenous Languages of Latin America Indigenous Language Institute The Society for the Study of the Indigenous Languages of the Americas SSILA Southern Oregon Digital Archives First Nations Tribal Collection Collection of Ethnographic, Linguistic and Historical Material Center for the Study of the Native Languages of the Plains and Southwest Project for the Documentation of the Languages of Mesoamerica Programa de Formación and Educación Intercultural Bilingüe para los Países Andinos Native American Language Center University of California at Davis Native Languages of the Americas International Journal of American Linguistics Our Languages Saskatchewan Indian Cultural Center Swadesh Lists of Brazilian Native Languages